Last but last but no means least, this is my proper propagation unit for seed production. Um, in the middle, I've got a seed tree, covered seed tree, and in the base, I've got some ca cabbage, uh, winter jewel seeds. I've sown a couple of days ago, so hopefully they'll be coming up soon. Uh, here you've got a zebra um, aloe, and as you can see here, they've produced two tiny little babies. Now, what I normally do when I'm propagating these succulents is that I wait till these babies have grown a little bit and got roots of their own, and then I'll just uh, basically divide and it's got, a, got the mother stem and you just cut the mother stem off and you should have roots on the baby so you just pop like, the baby up and they're really really easy to grow I love the triangles and the warts on the leaves and they are just a very pretty plant very textural so great if you're into your sort of arche archaeology and design and geometrics. Um, these here are some pansy seeds that I put in probably about a week or so ago and as you can see here they're beginning to germinate and this variety is called Black Beauty and unusual for pansies is that the pansy flower will actually be like a really dark purple to a black colour and uh, yeah it should be a really nice show come sort of winter time and going into spring so I look forward to, uh, to doing loads of uh, videos on their progress going to the other corner we've got a lovely uh, cactus uh, this is just a generic uh, cactus um, I really really love this cactus because it produces one large stem and it's got loads and loads of these little stems and what you can do is break the little stems off keep them in a dry area next to a windowsill for a couple of days for it to um, solidify and heal the, um, heal the break and then you can put the, uh, the stems back into compost and they should root within about four to eight weeks so yeah they're fantastic plants they don't need a lot of water and they, they grow into quite quite lovely specimens and they're great for giving away as gifts uh, I don't know if you see my previous videos but this is my little jade tree and this is only a little baby but um, this is basically how it how it, the adult form looks as you can see this is where I've taken the uh, leaf cuttings which I've got in my other videos and you try and take the leaf cuttings as close to the stem as possible um, with some pavivians sorry with um, <coughs> with these uh, these jade trees you can look for a leaf and as you can see here I've got a lovely new leaf you carefully go in and it carefully breaks off so you've got a nice clean joint here and what you can do is um, pull it into compost and that should should grow. Um, some people um, take the leaf off and put it to dry like you would the cactus for a couple of days but I like just to put it straight in the soil so yeah um, this is just the, this is the third and final um, propagation unit I've got in the house so hopefully you like and I'll do loads of uh, more gardening videos in the future so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed don't forget to rate subscribe and comment thank you bye bye